when I started noticing something was wrong with me, um, immediately I started losing mobility in my legs and I couldn't make it to the bathroom. I was running headfirst in the walls because I just couldn't control myself. Um, and I lost uh, issues with my bowels. Like I started just going whenever, wherever. And um, so I, when I went to the hospital and stuff and when they found out and told me about it, um, just within like two weeks, not even, I couldn't walk anymore. Um, from being like bedridden and so that I, I still can't walk I'm still trying to gain muscle in my legs to um, be able to stand because I still need help standing um, and with that you know I, I've had to take medicines and some of the medicines caused me to go blind in my left eye so I no longer have vision there and I got a disease from AIDS in my eyes um, so it's been a real big struggle but I'm, I'm doing the best I can. I'm trying to fight it. Going to my doctor's appointments like I'm supposed to, doing therapy. But it has changed my life a lot and my mom's. Most importantly, get checked. Get checked. Even if you think you're not, you don't have it, you might have it. Like, cause I, was, I, I wasn't very knowledgeable in my health. And I was just running free. <laughs> you know, running with the wind. You know, and I never felt sick. That was one of the big things. Everyone's like, you didn't feel any symptoms? You never went to the doctor? I'm like, no. And then, you know, I lived in New York and when there were storms and stuff, and if I did get really sick, I just assumed I had like a cold from the snow. And um, I learned real quick. <laughs> you feel something, go check it. Like, well, when I had to reach out to my exes, they didn't even tell me that I needed to but I just felt it was necessary. And I don't have that many exes, believe it or not. So it wasn't very hard for me to let them know. Uh, they were very understanding and they more felt bad for me than anything because they're actually okay. Honestly, when I even had the courage to tell them my mental state at the time um, I kind of wasn't caring much anymore because I thought I was going to die and I was it made it a little easier for me to just think well <laughs> I will not have to be here for the backlash which is horrible to think but um, it did make it a little easier for me to tell them but telling them if anything I've gotten more of the oh my gosh well, how are you are you okay do you need anything it was more of that reaction than what I would have, what I thought I was going to get. I was thinking, oh Lord, they're going to be mad at me. They're going to yell and be like, oh, what about me? What if, you know, and I got the total opposite reactions. So that's good to hear. It worked out. I knew in the back of my mind that I would have to tell people anyways, because if I even want to have any romantic relationship, they have to know. And I just was like, you know what? I'm just gonna tell everybody. And at the, at the same time, I was also having thoughts of, well, if I don't make it, I want other people to know why. Like, this, this still happens, you know? It's not just something that was in the 80s. It's still, it's still a thing. And here I was running around thinking I was fine and dandy. I did get tested, believe it or not, but I didn't know that I needed to specifically ask for HIV or AIDS tests I thought an STD check was checking for all of that but I was very wrong <laughs>